Goodbye, island of Ireland. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. Today, uh, we are going to Scotland. We left Larne in Northern Ireland by ferry boat in the afternoon, making our way to Cairn Ryan, which was our first stop in Scotland. From there, we immediately made our way to Glasgow, where we ended up staying for a couple days, but we specifically planned Glasgow to be our kind of resting spot. We got an Airbnb and kind of just took it easy, which was the first time we've really done so this entire trip, so I didn't really vlog anything in Glasgow. Though I did really love the city and the people there were probably the nicest that we've encountered on this entire trip. After Glasgow, we made our way north to the Highlands, our first stop in the Highlands was in beautiful Glencoe. From there, we made our way through Fort William and ended up camping at Steel Falls, which might look a little bit familiar if you're a Harry Potter fan, and is at the base of Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in all of the British Isles. We are on a boat right now. We are in like the city town of Larne in Northern Ireland. We're taking this boat to Cairn Ryan, which is, I guess, another port city on the coast of Scotland. And this ferry ride's about two hours long and it's a big boat. Look at how big this is. The last ferry we took, it was two in the morning. We were exhausted. We slept in the car, on the car deck the entire time, which I'm pretty sure might've been illegal. Like, <laughs> cause they told us, well, they just did a safety announcement on this boat and they said it's illegal to go back down to the ferry or the, the car deck while the ferry's going, which kind of is weird to me. This ferry basically has everything in it. You can go shopping. It's a, t it's ba essentially a tiny cruise ship. Yeah. Honestly. It is. Yeah. It has like a Vegas slot room. Oh yeah. There's like, <laughs> you can play slot machines. There's a restaurant. You can go shopping. There's a movie theater, which has like, like six Lame. rows of seats, five. It's, it's small, but it's there. So, are we moving? No. We are moving. We're, we're turning. Look it, we're turning. Oh my God, that is really it's high really up. Blue. It is very blue, isn't it? I also find it really interesting how these boats literally turn around. Our boats are like dual ended. So like they just, go back. You just, they just go back and forth. They don't have to turn around. They're, on the zip, like they're like on like a zip line. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. except in the water. We're all turned around. That's Scotland in the distance. This boat has a better turning radius than our car. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, so we rented a Renault Capture, not by choice, that's just what they gave us. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Really, it's fine. Turning radius is atrocious. I have to do like three point turns every single time I park in a regular size car parking spot because I back up and I like almost hit a car behind me and then I have to like pull forward and I can't turn it all the way around and so then I have to back up. It's really obnoxious to be completely honest. Hey, but, but you parallel parked today. I did parallel park today. You guys, I should have vlogged that. I, <laughs> I successfully parallel parked from the opposite side of the car. I'm getting cold. <laughs> but we're going, we're actually going quite quick, aren't we? Yep. Look at that. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Island. Check it out, we're almost there. You can't really tell, but there's a little town there. <laughs> we got the best spot in the house, though. It comes with an outlet, and a view, and chairs. We advise that you remain seated, or move around with caution until you're called down to the vehicle decks by means of a further announcement. We're basically there. I'm so excited. We still have about... <laughs> Would all commercial drivers, car and coach drivers, and your passengers, Time to go down. Know? It's like a, we're gonna park on the highway and then I, walk 20 minutes up to the meadow with all our stuff. With all of our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have to like repack some stuff. Well, I'm actually like yeah, pack the tent stuff yeah. into my backpack yeah. and then 
yeah. don't forget anything because I know. that's gonna be so annoying. It's very much so like it's Scotland weather. Yeah, okay. cloudy, rainy. Look at how pretty it's it is so too. Pretty. Look at how pretty it is. I don't know. I'll go out my window. Glencoe at the moment, which is like one of the most scenic and beautiful pieces of Scotland that I know of. I specifically wanted to drive through this part because of how gorgeous it's supposed to be. And it's definitely lived up to its expectations a little bit. So this is the road we came on. There's like a turn up there you can see. But we're driving through these canyons right now. And oh my gosh, it is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Update. So we stopped at a pub for a little bit to kind of use their Wi-Fi, charge up our phones, and um, we wanted to like double check to figure out where we were going to camp tonight. Tonight we are actually going to be wild camping, which if you guys don't know is basically exactly what it sounds like. We're not camping at an actual campsite, we're just camping in the woods. The really cool thing about Scotland is that wild camping is kind of allowed basically anywhere. There were a couple like signs that we passed on our way here that said like no camping, no camping, but here you can camp. Tonight we're gonna be camping at Steel Waterfall or something. I think that's what it is. It's basically at the base of Ben Nevis, which is the highest mountain in Scotland and therefore the highest mountain in all of the British Isles, which is really exciting. I have everything <laughs> um, right now. I have Becca's stuff too. Um, she ran back to the car because we actually forgot our little lamp. We have a lamp to use um, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a party. It's gonna be good stuff. So we're gonna go up this path and see where it takes us. What? I know. We're gonna be so sore tomorrow. It's gonna be great. It feels good to move. Is it cool? Look at this. It's like a rainforest. Oh my gosh, look. It's gorgeous. We're next to this stream and it opens up to this big valley. And look at the waterfall over there. We'll show you when we get closer. I am so excited to be out here right now. This is our view. This is the falls, Steel Falls. This is our tent. This is all of our space <laughs> that we get all to ourselves. Look at this. Huge meadow, huge mountain. There's one other tent right over there and that's it. And we could just put our tent like wherever we wanted. We were like, this is good. <laughs> and then we just plopped it down right there. This is our view. So amazing. And we're all bundled up and cozy and ready for the night. You're all cozy. We got snacks and uh, there's no like apex predators to like 
come in our tent in the middle of the night to like eat our stuff and like kill us. So that's great. The worst thing that could happen would be like a sheep like <laughs> Yeah, like if a sheep Man. came up to our like tent in the middle of the night just bad at us and that would be like the worst thing. So <sighs> I'm so excited to be here. This is beautiful. This is a perfect first night in Scotland. of another vlog. Today we're gonna do a comment of the day and today's comment is from Riven Al. So if you guys don't know River and Allison, you should definitely go check them out. They're some of our closest friends and I love them to death. And they also vlog and stuff, so go say hi to them. They say, Irish dancing has always just blown my mind. Dang, your river dance is everything. Actually laughed out loud at that one. Yeah, I don't really know what brought that on. It was just in the moment kind of thing. <laughs> I'm really glad I recorded it. <laughs> and we're actually coming to the end of these UK vlogs. I think there's only gonna be maybe one more after this one. And then next week we're going to be starting with normal vlogs again. So I hope you guys are excited about that because I kind of am. But at the same time, I've totally loved editing and watching all of this footage back. I am so glad that I vlogged so much more of this trip. Back when I did my backpacking through Europe thing in 2015, I just made one big vlog at the end of it. It was about 40 minutes long. You guys can go check that out if you want to. It's linked in the upper right hand corner. But I definitely wanted to do this a little bit differently and vlog as much as I could throughout the trip just to break it up and split it up and really remember each individual moment. And yeah, I'm really glad at how it's come together because I think I prefer that over one giant vlog. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Bye.